Hello! In this session, we will apply a spherical distortion effect to the world. First, open a new Unreal project and create a folder named Material in the Content Browser. Start by creating a Material Parameter Collection and name it MFC Curve. Next, create a Material Function and name it MF Curve. Open MFC Curve and add parameters, which are one vector parameter and three scalar parameters. Expand the arrow on the left to see the parameters. We will rename the parameters first scalar parameter to flat distance, the second scalar parameter to base distance, the third scalar parameter to power, and the vector parameter to direction. Then set B, which means z-axis, to 1. Enter the default values. Flat distance to 100, base distance to 1000, and power to 5. Open MF curve and create world position and camera position. Use these to calculate the distance between the object and the camera, so that the effect can be applied based on the distance. Use subtract to adjust the distance between the object and the camera. Create a collection parameter, select MFC curve as the collection, and choose flat distance as the parameter name. Use divide to control the effect's intensity based on the distance. Copy the collection parameter and select base distance as the parameter name. Add a power node to adjust the contrast, making the effect more pronounced. Similarly, select power as the collection parameter name. Add a multiply node, then copy the collection parameter and select direction, then connect it. In the level window, click the lit button and select wireframe. To apply this material, there needs to be a lot of mesh so that the distortion is applied to the mesh. Go back to default lit. Let's create a simple mesh using Unreal's modeling tools. Select a box and set the subdivisions to 50 for width, depth, and height. Click in the level window to create a cube and a folder will be created automatically. Next, scroll down on the left to find transform. Select pivot, then click enable snap dragging. Set the pivot to the bottom left, click Accept, and switch back to Select Mode. We change the pivot to match the pivot of the cube in the default map. Delete the cube you just created, select the mesh in the outliner under Playground, and change the static mesh to the one you created. If the material disappears, reapply it to the selected mesh. Now apply MF curve to the materials used in the default map mesh. The materials to apply are M prototype, grid, and M solid. Create a material function call and select MF curve. Connect it to world position offset. Apply the same for M solid. Save and return to the level where you will see the mesh deform into a spherical shape. Play and move the character to see the effect. As you move, previously invisible meshes will come into view. 
you can increase the effect by adjusting the power value in MFC curve. The reason for using a material parameter collection is so that when you change a parameter, it applies uniformly wherever it's used. Adjust the parameters to achieve your desired effect. 